First of all, I want to welcome you all and let you know we're glad to have you in our service. I didn't realize that people were really watching us, but evidently they are. Uh, you know, it's a great privilege to stand before a congregation, no matter how big or how small it is. God never measures salvation in size. He measures it by what is in your heart. I'm going to read a couple verses here and uh, attempt to do a little preaching, maybe. Uh, in the fourth chapter of Timothy, the third verse. For the time will come when there will, will not endure sound doctrine. They heap to themselves teaching. Here. You know, uh, the time is here. The time is here when you, well, let me put it this way. The church ain't the church anymore. The church is a business. Today, oh, I'll pray for you if you send a thousand dollars. Well, let me tell you something. I'll pray for you free. Free, that's right. Free of charge. I won't charge you a penny. I am proud of my church here. I am proud that God took an old country boy and made a preacher out of him. Yep. Yep. Like I told this couple that uh, is with us today from Columbus, uh, a young couple could probably compare to me and my wife. And uh, I'm proud of them. I'm proud the world is listening to the church. Today, the church is a business. If the government would tax the churches, we'd be the richest country in the world. Don't fool yourself. I'm not saying tax them, but if they would, we'd be the richest country in the world. But I am here to tell you about Jesus, my Lord and Savior, November 1957. He called us an old country boy from the back seat of an old church and gave me salvation. Brought me out of that muddy old world that I was living in drinking, smoking, talking filthy language. He gave me a clean tongue. Give me a new voice, a new way to live. And it's our job to live it. You know, it surprised you. I got a neighbor and he knows every Sunday whether I go to church or not. Along about 11.30, I get in my old car and head up the road. Head to heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. This is as close as you'll get to heaven while you're in this body. Let's pray one for another. Help one another. Let them know that there's more to life than an old dirty grave at the end. Thank you and God bless you.